Prim 2 News at 4 begins now. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Creme 2 News First at 4. I'm Tom Sherry. Welcome, everyone. I'm Whitney Ward. We begin tonight as dozens of northeastern Washington school districts superintendents are now calling on Governor Jay Inslee to consider relaxing the six foot of physical distancing requirement. Public, private and charter superintendents sent in this request in the form of a letter to the governor regarding next school year. So new ESD 10 superintendent Michael Dunn explained that this request needs to be addressed soon because it partly correlates with teacher contracts that are expiring this year. He adds that many districts are also discussing plans right now for all students to return to in person learning next school year and they need to know if they should plan to hire additional teachers. A superintendent shared on our weekly call this morning they're going to bring all their fourth and fifth graders back uh, after spring break, in order to do that and meet six feet of physical distancing, they're going to have to hire additional teachers. So in order to plan both space and staffing, we really need to, to have this information. The letter to the governor and Department of Health says in order to bring all students back to class, maintaining six feet would be impossible. Dunn emphasizes the superintendents want to take the safest steps for students and their families. They are merely asking for guidance as they begin planning for the next school year. And today, Governor Inslee visited Robert Frost Elementary School down in Pasco, Washington. His visit was to see the school's success in returning to on-site learning. Inslee called their efforts really inspiring. I'm here to learn from you, to learn about your successes, in part so I can share it with other schools. Other schools that have not been able yet to achieve the success that you have had, giving an option of on-site instruction for your parents. Um, because it's hard for them to get online. Schools near Pasco have held in-person classes for children for weeks without any widespread outbreaks of the virus. Governor Inslee has toured Washington and Washington schools, also vaccination clinics throughout the state of Washington during the recovery process of the coronavirus pandemic. And today, Inslee also visited the mass vaccination site over in Kennewick. All right, we want to take a pause from the headlines if we can. Talk to Tom a little bit about the weather. We know that we are going to incrementally get a little bit better throughout the week. How do yeah. things shape up today for you? It still looks good, Whitney. Let's get right to it. That's a live look outside. As you can see, we've got the partly cloudy skies that we were talking about. Now here, take a look at the headlines. Looking for some patchy fog. I'm not going to rule out isolated snow showers overnight, but not in, uh, any in the way of accumulation. It will be cart partly cloudy to mostly sunny for the rest of this week with temperatures warming into the upper upper 40s and lower 50s by the time we get to Friday and into the weekend. Right now we're at 45 degrees, not much in the wind department. You can see just five mile an hour winds out of the east southeast. Your day planner forecast calling for patchy fog, isolated snow showers tonight. It gets chilly though, down to 26 degrees. We'll look for a daytime high tomorrow of 49 degrees. Again, that's just about where we should be for the weekend though. Wow, mostly sunny and 54. Boy, if you're going to go skiing this weekend, fabulous spring skiing skiing with your shadow 54 on Saturday and 49 degrees expected on Sunday. The rest of your seven day forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes. Always loving that sunshine, especially yeah. when it falls on the weekend. Tom, mm -hmm. thank you.